who came out to the vigil today say they feel what the governor and his family are going through. They say they believe in the power of prayer, and that's the main reason that they came out here today. Some Baltimore City lawmakers put politics aside and put prayer at the forefront. To pray for the health of our governor, Governor Hope. More than a dozen people, some religious leaders and community members, came together Friday outside of City Hall. So Lord, we pray that you just touch his body and comfort him during the times of struggle. Hogan is battling an aggressive and advanced type of cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He made the announcement on Monday. On Thursday, he gave an update on his health. I got my result of my bone marrow biopsy, which says I'm completely clear. I have no problem in the bone marrow, which means I'm at stage three. Councilman Pete Welch says he knows what the Hogan family is going through. I was the caregiver in my family for everyone who had cancer in my family since the age of 16. And I did the transportation and the home care and everything for everyone in my family. Some were successful, some weren't. Kenneth Ebron wore a green ribbon on his lapel for cancer awareness. Ebron operates Biggie's Community Center and says he considers Hogan a friend. But he made a promise to uh, the community center. He said on on the week of Christmas I'll be back and I'm going to take care of the children for Christmas in the community. And he came back as the governor and he did. It showed a, a person who you know, with a big heart that cares. Kiefer Mitchell is a special advisor to the governor. He says Hogan had a full schedule Friday in Annapolis. He's positive uh, and confident that uh, he'll get through this, and uh, it really has pumped up uh, all of his staff. And all of his support. And, becoming unsafe. and Hogan is expected to start his chemotherapy treatment on Monday. Reporting live at City Hall, Karen Campbell, WBAL TV 11 News.